And speaking of solutions, there's a heated debate going on in con uh, communities around the country. Should teachers be armed in classrooms? Now, this conversation picking up steam, the sheriff in Polk County, Florida, announced that his department, uh, they've started a program that's going to train and arm educators in case a gunman attacks their schools. Good idea or not, uh, that program's been going on about a year in Polk County, and we have two sides on this one. Mike Chitwood, he's the sheriff in Volusia County there in Florida. He believes, yes, we need it as well. He believes action needs to happen now. And Mo Canada is with us as well. Mo's the executive director, National Association for School Resource Officers. Uh, not as big a fan of this idea. But uh, Sh Sheriff Chitwood, let's start with you. And you know the question that's coming. You know, how are you going to get a teacher, a coach, an administrator ready to handle some life or death firefight with, with a potential shooter? Well, here's the first thing with our plan is, is you're going to call the school administrators and find out for ex-law enforcement, ex-military, and concealed weapons permit holders. Put them through about 500 hours worth of training, deputize them as special deputies, have their identity concealed so that only the school resource officer on campus and the principal know who's armed. And you have teachers that are laying their lives down to protect their students unarmed. That same courage that we ask our law enforcement officers to put forward, and we believe that we could we could expand our reach and protect our students by arming the correct administrators. You know, they'll, th their mental health will be tested just like we test every single deputy. They're going to undergo deputy training. Uh, this is a win-win. We have to protect our community. We've been having this debate over mental health and gun control since 1989 when we had a mass shooting in Stockdale, California. And guess what? We're having the same debate now in 2018. We need to protect our kids, and we need to do it now. Mo, you hear that. So, again, just for everybody to be clear here, we're not talking about all teachers. It's going to be specifically qualified teachers. Sounds like someone who would volunteer and go through the training. Uh, your thoughts on that? Well, uh, you heard the sheriff speak about school resource officers, and obviously that's, uh, that's who NASA represents. And first of all, we think that there should be a school resource officer in every school in this country, at least one. And some, there needs to be multiple school resource officers. And right now, there are about 20% across this country that have SROs. Uh, you know, some of the concerns about teachers being armed, I, I hear what the sheriff's saying, and, and certainly uh, having an SRO on campus is the first thing we want to do. Uh, but there, there certainly are things that, that would have to be training issues. And one of those, for instance, is uh, if there is a law enforcement response to the school, uh, the ability to identify uh, when we see teachers uh, possibly plainclothes individuals with firearms and having to make split-second decisions, that could, that, that could end in a bad way uh, if we're not in some way prepared for that. So I'm not sure how we're going to identify those teachers as we respond to those types of things. And again, that mental preparation that law enforcement officers really spend a career training for the potential to have to take someone's life even the life of a student if they're a shooter in this situation. Those are concerns that our association has. Sheriff, I'll let you respond. So identifying those teachers that are, uh, nobody's going to know that they're armed. Uh, we, we'll say that. And then just to make sure they're mentally ready. Right. right. And, and listen, I, I agree exactly with what this gentleman just said. I have 77 schools in Volusia County. I have 13 school resource officers. I mean, we just don't have the money and we don't have the manpower. But what I want to get to is these, these, school, these school administrators that we would select, they would train twice a year with our department to keep up their certification so that everybody, we in law enforcement, would know who's responding. They're great issues. And we would screen. The screening process would be the same as I screen my deputies. You know, here, here's an example. I have a school resource officer. One of our campuses has over 4,000 students on it. And the campus is a quarter mile long and it's two stories high. God forbid, in the case of an active shooter, that school resource officer, if he could run an eight minute mile in full battle regalia against the tide of all students running away from him and gets there two minutes later, that suspect could have gotten off up to 500 rounds. So by having the more guns on campus, the safer we're going to be because you got to stop these guys early. If you let them go two or three minutes, the, the body count's just going to ring up. Mo, I'll let you respond to that uh, as we wrap up, just the timeliness of having someone on site. Well, the sheriff and I agree on more than we disagree on. 
And the thing is, we certainly want to keep students safe. And we know that SROs can be a difference maker in that situation. I heard what the sheriff said about funding issues. And now that, that every sheriff and every chief is frustrated by those funding issues. But here's the bottom line. We fund everything else that we're concerned about in a community. Why can't we fund an SRO, whether it's through federal funds, state funds, or local funds, to protect our students on campus? School resource officers. Well, one more to you, I think, as people don't understand this. How many SROs, school resource officers, do you need based on the size of a school? And how, give us a context. How many do we have now, and how many do you need for you to say, yeah, I think we're safe? That's, that's a fantastic question. And as a matter of fact, our board meeting is scheduled this weekend as one of the top issues that we're going to be discussing. And that was already planned weeks before this. By the way, an SRO is a specially selected specially trained officer working on a school campus. Got it. Well, guys, thanks again. Uh, hey, my, Sheriff, real quick, in Volusia County, how close are you to doing what has been done in Polk County? Real quick. Uh, we're not that close at all. Okay. You know, we have a, a lot of pushback. Gotcha. Okay. Well, keep us posted as conversations like this continue as, uh, you know, what is the solution to keep our kids safe? Mike, Mo, thanks, uh, thanks again so much. And another conversation is going to be taking place. You're going to hear directly from the students who survived this tragedy in a town hall meeting. It's going to be televised live on CNN. They, along with their parents, members of the community in Parkland, Florida, they're going to be talking about how to stop the epidemic of mass shootings. It's called Stand Up. The students of Stoneman Douglas demand action. You can see that town hall tomorrow, 9 Eastern on CNN.